This is Super Yacht News with Yves Sisman. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's 9th of March, uh, big news, big news day today. So I'm just gonna go straight into it. Um, so in the last video, I was talking about Super Yachts disappearing. That was the title of the video, right? So, um, well, it turns out they can't disappear from this incredible community that we've, we've built here. Uh, I have people from all over the place sending me photographs and details about uh, different super yachts, where they are, even though they've turned off the AIS to try and hide. Um, I'm gonna get into that in a minute. I just wanna say one thing about it first is, if you are uh, somebody who's gonna send me some details uh, or a photograph or video or whatever, uh, that's great, but just make sure you don't get into any trouble to do it. I don't want you to like, do any trespassing or anything like that. Only film or take a photo if you're allowed to. Uh, I don't want anyone to get into any trouble uh, for that, right? One of, the, one of the things I wanted to say something about as well is, I've seen quite a lot of comments where people keep saying to me to say to stop saying the word arrest when I'm talking about a yacht because you can't arrest a thing, you can only arrest people. Well, that's not true. That's not actually true. It is a maritime phrase. You can arrest a vessel. Um, what I have here is uh, I have a, a clip from the International Maritime Organization and it, it's actually a clip that talks about it. I'll put the whole thing on the screen, but I'm just going to read out the highlighted parts. And it says, what is ship arrest? And it says, Marine Admiralty has the jurisdiction to prevent a ship legally from moving or trading as long as the resolution of the concerned court action is pending. So in other words, you have a court action against the vessel, usually for, if you owe money, if, if the ship has paid, like uh, has bought a product like fuel and they don't pay, then they can be arrested for it. And it says here, the ship is detained by judicial process in order to secure a maritime claim, but the arrest warrant does not imply the seizure of a ship in execution or gratification of a judgment. Now, it, the, the other stuff is not important. It's just the fact that the word arrest is used in there and a, a vessel can be arrested. So I hope that puts puts an end to that conversation. All right, guys, let's get into the vessels themselves. So we've, there's been a lot of movements. Um, we, we're kind of doing a, a yacht watch, aren't we? Uh, tr tracking these vessels going around. Um, so one of the vessels I talked about in the last video was Motia Amadea, turned off her AIS the day of the Ukraine, uh, sorry, of the um, Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Well, she's been found in Antigua in what is i think english harbor and she's currently doctor and i suspect she will move from there soon here's a great video actually from one of my subscribers uh, as it was entering uh, antigua and uh, some photographs of it docked in the marina there so thanks to everybody everybody asked to, to remain anonymous and that's great uh, I'm, I'm happy to do that uh, the other thing i forgot to mention earlier is if you do send anything and you, and you want to remain anonymous that is fine with me i will never I will never um, tell anybody who, who sends the information. So uh, the other thing about uh, Amadeus is uh, it's reportedly owned by Suleiman Kerimov, who is on the sanctions list, which is what I said in the previous video. However, Imperial Yacht, who manages this vessel, said in a statement that he does not own the 106 meter yacht. And I'm gonna read out a statement from them in a second. So the next vessel we looked at is a vessel called Quantum Blue. So Quantum Blue uh, was temporarily detained in Monaco by Monegasque and French uh, authorities. Now, I don't know why it was detained, but I know it was detained. It was prevented from leaving. Uh, they put a boom across the, the entrance to the marina. I don't know whether that was in relation to the, the fact that they'd arrested or they'd detained uh, Quantum Blue temporarily. It was eventually allowed to leave, and, uh, and I've been monitoring, monitoring its, its, uh, its movements ever since, and it basically headed south and, and then uh, southeast towards um, the Suez Canal, and I suspected in the previous video I said it's probably going to Port Said. Well, it is in Port Said now, it's at anchor, and Port Said is a, is, a, um, is, an, is a staging area for transit. When you're going through Panama Canal and you're going south, you arrive in Port Said and then you wait there at anchor to get your permission to go through the canal. It should be noted that we don't know why uh, Quantum Blue was detained in Monaco, uh, and we don't know if it was anything to do with sanctions, or it could have been completely unrelated. Motia Solaris, so we, we were looking at Solaris, I was expecting that it would leave pretty soon. It's been uh, alongside, it was in, uh, I think it was in MB92 in, uh, in Barcelona, that's a shipyard in Barcelona. And it was uh, originally out of the water, it was refloated, and then they went out on sea trials, came back in, 
well they have now left and they are also heading southeast and it looks like they are heading to uh, Suez Canal as well it's a bit early to say but I think that's the direction they're going in uh, asked, I think what, from what I know um, they were they have been asking about um, transit through Suez Canal but I can't confirm that as of yet okay staying with Abramovich his other yacht the giant 162 meter or 522 foot uh, super yacht motor yacht Eclipse she's been cruising uh, across the Atlantic um, I say cruising because on her AIS it just says cruising it doesn't actually have a destination plotted into it and she's been cruising across the Atlantic at quite a speed I mean she is a fast vessel but to do 17 knots across the Atlantic uh, is unusual unless your boss requires the boat in a hurry um, so she at the moment uh, the, the last time I checked her, her course looked like she was going to Funchal which is an, an island a Portuguese island uh, in the Atlantic off the coast of North Africa possibly maybe getting fuel there uh, Abramovich I believe is a Portuguese citizen and I, I, I'm, I have to say that also please note that he is not currently under any sanctions so as far as I can tell there's no reason for him to to not go in there at the moment but it's changing all the time right so but the reason why I said that about fuel is because a source told me that they were denied fuel in uh, in St. Martin before they started their crossing uh, again I've not been able to independently independently verify that um, I'm expecting Eclipse will probably go through the Mediterranean and head towards the same location uh, Port Said um, you might think why would they go all the way across the Atlantic and then through the Mediterranean but it's actually faster to go through the Med if you're going down to the Indian Ocean than to go around the Horn of Africa all right next vessel is Madame Gu uh, I mentioned it, that she uh, left Dubai harbor there a few days ago and then uh, promptly turned off her AIS 2 uh, but she's been spotted in Dubai and as you can see from the photo sent in to me from various sources including Monaco Yachting the Instagram page um, she's at anchor just outside of the bay there now she still has it AIS switched off which is technically an infraction of the law um, she is reportedly owned by Andre Scotch who is currently on the sanctions list so on uh, February the 23rd the EU sanctioned the 366 members of Russia's Parliament uh, a list that includes Andre Scotch okay next vessel Motiot Nord now we've been talking about Motiot Nord in previous videos I talked about the, uh, some stuff happening with the crew I've got more information now so um, th they have been in the Seychelles uh, cruising around those islands there um, what I've what I have discovered is uh, what I've been told by multiple sources is that most of the crew most of the European crew should I say have now left the vessel and there are approximately 15 left on board who will take the yacht to its final destination final destination um, which I'll go into in a minute uh, a source told me that once they arrive at the destination all the crew will be terminated now I don't mean uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger terminated but I mean the employment contracts uh, not sure interestingly I'm not sure how those remaining crew uh, are gonna get home from Russia because most um, flights from Russia now have been blocked so they're not allowed into the EU they're not allowed into most of Western Europe they're not allowed into the US uh, or UK airspace so the only way I can think that they may be able to get home is possibly from Russia to uh, Dubai maybe uh, what I would say for the crew if, if you are if you are actually on that vessel or if you're on any vessel that's going to Russia right now make sure that you have a VPN on your phone because uh, when you get there there's been a big clampdown on on you know free media and social media and stuff like that so when you get there you might have problems now as you arrive into Russia you'll still have your visa on your vessel but be sure that once you leave that vessel that, that you're not going to have access to any of those uh, facilities so put a VPN on your phone and and you'll be okay now I do have a link for you to get um, uh, money off a of VPN this is not a sponsored video I do have a link with VPN because I have a, an advertising deal with them but this is not uh, I'm not getting paid for this but I'm just saying to those crew you need to have a VPN on your phone if you want to be able to access social media um, and also if you're sending any data within Russia it's all monitored so make sure you have a VPN on your phone all right I'm gonna move on 
So, okay, so now we're down to where is Nord heading? So I, I, I uh, alluded to a location in the previous video, but I, I wanted to have at least at least two sources say the same place to me before I went ahead and, and said the name of it. Now I've had multiple sources tell me the same place. Um, and in actual fact, interestingly, in the comment section, there were some people who actually called it out before I even posted it. So, uh, you know, we've got some amazing people watching these videos, uh, putting the, nailed it straight away in the comments there. Well, I'm going to coin a name for this location. Uh, I'm going to call it the Russian Riviera. Um, so the place Nord and possibly others, which, I'll, which I will put in a, in a future video, are heading is a place called Vladivostok. And it's on the east coast of Russia, uh, through the Sea of Japan. And um, yeah, I think, uh, you know, it's, a, it's not the normal place you will find a super yacht. Uh, they can go down to North Korea for the weekend if they like. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not, they're not going there to, uh, to sample the, uh, the food. They're going there because it just happens to be the home of the Pacific Fleet of the Russian Navy. All right, so in the, pre in the previous video, I talked about Amore Vero being owned by Igor Sechin. And, and I said that uh, Amadea was reportedly owned by uh, Suleiman Kerimov, right? So I got a, an email from Imperial Yachts. I did ask them at the time for a statement, which they declined. Well, they didn't decline, they just didn't get back to me. And then I got this from them after the video went live. And, he, and this, is from the, um, this is from Imperial Yachts. It says, I can categorically confirm that Amore Vero is not owned by Igor Sechin and Amadea is not owned by Suleiman Kerimov, either directly or indirectly. Then I asked, what do you think about um, the super yacht sailing around and switching off the AIS, which is a legal requirement for all vessels, all passenger vessels, uh, regardless of size, which includes super yachts. Or well, Imperial Yachts reply was, Imperial Yachts complies with, fully with all applicable relevant law and regulation in all jurisdictions in which the company operates. That's from Simon Clark, Imperial Yachts. But I would argue that that's not the case because those vessels are required by law, by international maritime law, to display AIS when they're at sea or at anchor. That's in maritime law. And they're not doing that. So and the, there is one reason why you can turn off your AIS, and that's if you're in danger. If, if the captain of the vessel believes that the vessel is in danger by broadcasting AIS, they can switch that off. A, a good example of that would be if you were sailing off the coast of Somalia, you could, you could switch off your AIS uh, legally. But what you have to do is you have to inform the authorities of the flag state that you are switching off your AIS and you have to write it in the logbook, in the captain's logbook or the bridge logbook. Uh, in this particular situation, they are not in danger, right? They are, f they are avoiding the authorities of countries that have sanctioned the people who own those vessels. So that is not a reason to switch off your AIS. It is literally because you don't want to be tracked by whoever is watching, right? And that's not a, f a legal reason, in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, there you go. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here because I feel like this has gone on a long time. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you've got any information, you can send it to me through the usual things, uh, Instagram, or uh, or you can you can go to the About page and you can click on there and you can send it to to me on there. Uh, I'm going to set up uh, a way for you to send it, send stuff to me through Signal or through WhatsApp, but I haven't set that up yet. Uh, so I'll get back to you on that one in the future. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.